A story now that will make your skin crawl a bit. A man says he went to the emergency room for medical attention as he battles stage four cancer. Instead of care, he got an infestation, finding himself covered in biting bugs. Well, tonight he is speaking out, demanding sanitation changes to protect other patients. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is working to get answers from the hospital. Tyrone Foster has stage four cancer, including cancer in his throat. It makes it hard for him to speak. He says he knows he has a weak immune system and worries about exposure to something unsanitary, making him deathly ill. I worry like that every day. Then on May 23rd, he went to Henry Ford Hospital's emergency room for help. And suddenly, he says he realized he was being bitten by bugs. And when he raised up his uh, hospital gown, one of them was crawling on his stomach, and the doctor takes it and bursts it. How clean is that? He burst it. Attorney Arnold Reed says he's working to get answers for Foster. Why did this happen? Hospital employees say they soon realized someone had stuffed wet clothes covered in bugs, possibly lice, under the gurney he was given's mattress. They took me to the back in, in some room and sprayed me down like I'm some animal or something. I reached out to Henry Ford Hospital for a response. A hospital spokesperson tells me they're very sorry about what happened to Mr. Foster. The hospital also has questions. How exactly did wet infested clothing end up under a hospital gurney? In a statement, the hospital said in part, quote, after discovering the clothing, we followed infection control protocol. We isolated and treated the patient, isolated and sanitized the gurney and disposed of the clothing and bedding. Foster and his daughter say they asked for the process to file a formal complaint at the hospital, but no one could give them an answer. They want the hospital to address this and look into whether the bug situation could have been prevented. They say for patients with a compromised immune system, this is potentially a matter of life and death. He's already in an infirm condition with his cancer. He deserved better. I worry every day because I know that he's really ill and having to deal with something in such manner and not getting any answers. This is a hospital. It should be clean. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim. We're going to